Hi, it's JP Dunphy, your BMW genius here at West German BMW. So in today's video, I'm gonna go over a little deeper dive into Apple CarPlay, things you can do in it and apps that you have access to while in it. With that, let's get started. All right then, so as of right now, I have this thing queued up. Let's start from the very beginning. After your phone is paired and all of that, the question is, how do you get into CarPlay? You'll notice right at the top here, you will have CarPlay. Simply give me a tap there, we'll bring up CarPlay. From this point, you'll usually start up either here or in the phone's main dashboard in CarPlay. This is where you'll find things like your map, quick, <clears throat> excuse me, shortcuts in maps, music, or your calendar. Give me a quick tap right here. We'll go into your main display and use most of the apps you're used to. The other way is a simple swipe to the left. After you're in here, you'll notice all these other apps that you're probably used to seeing within your uh, phone itself. These are basically CarPlay versions of the apps, meaning that if you have them on your phone, you will have them in your car. The only way that they find out if it's a phone versus CarPlay is whether or not it has audio abilities and is situated or made specifically for CarPlay. So things like MLB uh, or the you know Major League Baseball app, that is basically an audio app uh, within this. Or things like Sirius, po podcast, news, audio. Speaking of all of those, on the left-hand side right here, you'll get everything from your LTE signal. If you have Wi-Fi, you'll have a Wi-Fi signal as well. There's my wife, perfect timing. How wonderful is that? So let's give us a shot. To answer, you can either press here or answer on that. Hello, my love. I'm actually in the middle of a video, but how are you doing? Oh, I just wanted to know if you needed anything from Swiss Farms because I was going to go there because Odin's pretty much out of his milk and they have it in his dry syrup. Gotcha. In that case, no, I do not. But uh, thank you for asking. I greatly appreciate you. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Bye-bye. Bye. Ending the call is as simple as tapping end or pressing the phone button right here on your steering wheel. So yes, for anyone who doesn't know, that was my wife. <laughs> and Odin is my son. With that, back to what's at hand. So, you have access on the left-hand side here to your battery, how much is left in that. If you're charging, it'll show you a little tiny charge symbol as well. Clock up at the top. And these three guys right here are all of your quick shortcuts to things that you've recently used. So this top one will always be whatever map you used in the past. So if you use Apple Maps, Google Maps, or Waze, that'll be the icon that'll be right there. Below that is whatever audio you use. That includes music, as well as things like podcasts, news, audiobooks, anything of that nature. So for instance, if I touch audiobooks, that will change to audiobooks. If I switch to, say, music, that one will switch to music. The one below that is based on either phone, messages, or settings. So if I go to the settings app, you'll see the lower one will change. Phone, and likewise for everything else. Moving along here, this is you'll probably find very familiar from within your phone normally, within your phone app on your phone. I said phone a lot there. <laughs> Favorites, recents, contacts, keypad, and your visual voicemail if you have any. Within those, you'll also find things like messages. Now, whenever you get a new message, you'll see right at the top a little tiny blue dot indicating that you have a new message. To listen to messages, all you have to do is give it a quick tap and Siri will read it. Franco said this is how Siri reads your message to you in CarPlay. Would you like to reply? Yes. What do you want to say? Thanks a lot for the help, buddy. Your reply to Franco says thanks a lot for the help, buddy. Ready to send it? Yes. Okay, it's sent. And that is how you get messages and send messages from Siri. Now the other option you'll have is if you need to do that and you don't want to touch the screen, you can access Siri through one of two ways, either pressing and holding here, we'll bring up Siri, or pressing and holding here on your steering wheel. 
Hi Siri, please text my wife. What do you want to say? On second thought, would you mind picking up a small bottle of whole milk for me, please? Your message to Judy says on second thought, would you mind picking up a small bottle of whole milk for me, please? Ready to send it? Yes. Okay, it's sent. And that's how you will send messages without touching the screen. Moving on from that, you'll have things like your maps. I personally have Google Maps on here as well. They work similar to on your phone. If you have favorites already done, you can access your favorites by simply giving a little time press here and scrolling down through those favorites. To get anything started, for instance, let's do directions to work. Simply touch, it'll give you your normal map. And you just say, go, at which point it will start up. Now, I personally don't use the actual voice code, but if you do want voice directions for it, you can access that by touching down here, expanding, and hitting unmute. Proceed to Pennsylvania Avenue, then turn right. Something else you'll notice is within this part, you'll also be able to share with anyone you have where you are, so you can actually get your location, when you'll arrive, and the route that you're currently taking. So you can share that with anyone that is in your contacts that way. To end a route, simply touch the same one and press end. Moving on beyond that, currently playing is going to be whatever music you currently have. Like for instance, I apparently have Nicki Minaj as my most recent <laughs> music. I didn't even know I was playing in the background, so that makes a lot of sense as to why I was hearing that on my speakers earlier. Music. Similar to anything else yeah. on here. Skip forward. Skip forward. Yes, yeah, sorry. Skip back. Random. Add to a list. And touching right here gives you the other options that you normally find within your Apple Music. So creating a station, uh, adding to library, liking a song, and suggest less like this. So after that, you'll find the music is already playing, and this is where Now Playing comes in handy. Just a simple touch brings you right back to this. Alternatively, if you're in something, say, let's do a little podcast here for a moment. So if something else is playing, like podcasts, simply touching Now Playing brings you to the podcast control, where you can stop, rewind, change speed, So we have that. You have access to all of your uh, options in here, anything that is coming up, as well as if you have uh, anything coming up, um, like if you have something in your calendar which has a set location as well as a time, that will also come up as an option within your uh, directions. Usually it'll say, you have this coming up, would you like directions to it? At which point it will do so. The other options that you honestly have are things like, for instance, if you now have one of their current PHEVs, ChargePoint app just recently became a new option where you can find any of the charge points. So these particular ones are full of the uh, level two chargers. They're all around. It'll tell you where they are, tells you whether it is free, uh, whether it's available, whether it costs money, You can also filter out anything you need, whether you need DC fast chargers, something that's available, anything that's free, or just anything that works with your current EV or plug-in hybrid. Other one you get is, of course, another favorite is the uh, Google Maps. This one just works the exact same as in your phone. You can add destinations, change all that. The only difference on this one is you might have to access your Google Assistant. Hi, Google, get directions to Starbucks. And that does so. Google is slightly different from Apple in that they give you the root options right off the bat. Whereas if you go to Apple Maps instead, and you say, 
Let's go somewhere a little further away, I like my shore house. Whereas Apple gives you the overview right with it from the beginning, so you can simply give a touch to change up which direction you want to go. And with that, that is kind of the deep dive into carp. Oh, actually, I did forget one thing. Settings options. So you do have an option to turn on do not disturb while driving. What that basically does is if someone texts you while you're driving, they'll send them a text saying, sorry, I'm driving right now. I will get back to you as soon as I am not driving. So that's the simple do not disturb while driving. The other one you get is the appearance. So appearance basically can automatically be automatic, which will be light during light, dark during the dark, or you can change it to always dark. I personally like it to be automatic, so I just enjoy that more. Uh, aside from that, the other ones you get are things like your wallpaper, where you can change wallpapers, solid colors, or gradients. Series suggestions in the dashboard and showing album art. So not extensive settings, but settings nonetheless. And with that, that is the deep dive into CarPlay. Something that is worth noting, you will not get your turn-by-turn -turn directions if you have a heads-up display. You will not get turn-by-turn -turn directions here uh, if you do have it. So just so you know that. Some of the newer ones, there are updates if you have the digital dash over here that can get you the turn-by-turn -turn that comes up through CarPlay, but you will not get the map if you have the digital live cockpits in the center. And after three times trying to end it, now we are officially done the deep dive into Apple CarPlay. If you ever want to find any other apps that will work with CarPlay, simply go to your Apple App Store and search for CarPlay apps. From there, they'll give you an entire list of anything that is, uh, works with CarPlay. And with that, thanks so much for watching. Any questions or uh, further videos you want, please leave comments down below and I'll happily get to them as fast as humanly possible. With that, again, thank you so much for choosing West Jaren BMW and our videos here on YouTube. Have a great one, everyone. Keep motoring.